right, guys, we're out in the ghetto forge again tonight. Here's that knife I was working on last night. And there's another piece of steel for the other half of that. You see, I kind of shaped it out. What I'm doing is comparing them to see where I need to go next. This part up here by my tongs, I'll smash it down and I'll work that steel out and that'll be my tang. The tip, as you can see, was where that hole was in that leaf spring where I cut it in half, so I'm going to have to work that down. You see, it's still rather thick. Put it back in the fire, but I mean, that, that's what I'm doing. What I'm doing is when I draw that steel out, I lay it down on its side like this. And I take my three pound hammer and I smash it down. But while I'm doing that, I pull it back this way while I'm hammering and it smashes that steel out and elongates. That's how you draw steel out. I don't have a power hammer or hydraulic press or anything like that. I have to do all this by hand. Most of it, three pound hammer and four pound there. Now, there's only a pound difference between this hammer and this one. But when you're swinging, you can really tell the difference. And the three pound hammer, I can do a lot with it. The four pound I use mostly, if I've got like, like right here on this handle, that's what they normally call a forge weld. But that is actually where, when I folded the steel. Now that'll grind right out, but if it say it'd been down here in the blade, I would take that four pound, hold it steady on my poor old anvil here, and you beat the living tar out of it until it flattened out. But, I mean, it should, it, by tonight, I ought to have a pair of these. Then tomorrow, if I get my quench barrel like I'm supposed to, and some oil, I'll do some refinement on it, get them quenched, and drill the holes for the, the handles, get them all fitted up, and hopefully have them done here soon. So I'll keep y'all tuned.